Now, for the past 30 years, I've been doing everything I could to keep our community safe by arresting criminals and putting them in jail and putting them in prison. And I'm wondering if I'm having a change of heart and deciding that, you know what, maybe I've been wrong. I think it's time we put a felon in the White House. Trump 2024, baby. Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco in a now viral Instagram post from last week endorsing former President Trump. Tony Thurmond, California's superintendent of public instruction, now calling for an investigation into Bianco. Thurmond, by the way, is also a 2026 candidate for governor. California law enforcement officers, elected or not, are not allowed to make a political endorsement in uniform. I can do anything that I want. There is only one sheriff's uniform, and that's mine. Wrong, Chad. What you did is illegal. That's why your actions of making a political endorsement while wearing a taxpayer-funded uniform need to be investigated. With more on that vile endorsement and the reaction, we are joined by Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco wearing a nice suit tonight. Uh, Sheriff, good to see you. Uh, so his point is basically you're not allowed to do this sort of political speech wearing a uniform. What's your response to that and why did you choose to do it while wearing a uniform? You know, I'll tell you, well, it, uh, just to answer that very end, I didn't choose to do anything. It was a, uh, it was a spur of the moment thing uh, because I happened to be stuck behind a train for too long going through social media seeing all of the ridiculous posts by uh, failed politicians and, and the ones that absolutely love criminals that now all of a sudden they want to take a hard line against crime and you know it's it, it's just so bizarre to me that the the two and a half minutes of that video talking about the complete failed system in California and this failed social experiment and the only thing anyone who wants to wants to comment on is an endorsement for President Trump and the bottom line with that is we only have two choices we have President Biden who is pretty much destroying this country California's open border uh, the everything that we have with human trafficking sex trafficking drugs the cartels everything coming across our border uh, the, our policies in sacramento that are completely destroying our quality of life in california but we want to talk about this and then i actually had to laugh because it's thurman that, that is coming out with this wanting me investigated this from the self-proclaimed fit well he's not he's a failure legislator and his biggest victory that he really touts is that he passed a bill, he got a bill through that took away the punishment for criminals. And it, it, you can't make this up. And it's, I just find the whole thing ironic. It's super hypocritical. And these failed politicians, I'm going to make them start talking about the real things that are destroying California, not the things that they want to talk about. Well, let's let's talk more about that than the substance of that Trump endorsement. Trump lost California twice by what 30 points. What are voters sheriff here getting wrong in your mind about Trump? You know, well, number one, I mean, you have to if you take the emotion out of it and you can look at uh, you you look at some of the responses, you know, especially today. You know, for the first three days after this video, it was predominantly probably 90% positive, uh, and then now in the last day, all of the haters come out and they have nothing to comment about what I said in the video. It's just they they have a you know what whatever it's called the Trump derangement syndrome, whatever it is. They have an absolute hatred towards President Trump. If you take all the emotional part out of it and you just talk about where the country was there, the policies that he has. And I will say this, do I wish someone would take away his cell phone? Absolutely. Take him off social media? Absolutely. But the bottom line is, all I care about is America. I care about the United States of America. I care about our military. And I care about what we are doing to make this country better. And no one can deny that we were exponentially better off four years ago than we are today with failed policies. And really, if you, if you want to get more microcosm into California, California, the federal government and Biden administration are taking, it's almost like they're taking lessons from our failed California for the last 12 years and doing the same thing. So really, if anyone in the country wants to take a lesson of what who they should vote for, the policies, not the person, because there's only two choices, but the policies, hands down, we need to vote for USA. We can't vote for 
socialism. Well, of, of course, the Biden team would say that it's not socialism, that he's, he's a fan of capitalism, that there's actually more jobs that have been created under his time. And I, I'm not going to get into a whole debate on Biden versus Trump right now. But just, just to, to you, though, on, on that original point of the investigation, do you regret the fact that you did that in uniform? Do you wish that you had done it in a suit like you're doing now? And what do you say to the critics of, of the fact that you did that? Uh, no, I don't regret it. The early on in my career or, or in my sheriff career, uh, I actually had to research it and do some do some looking into and filed a complaint against my former sheriff because I thought he was doing something wrong by wearing his uniform campaigning. And I learned that he wasn't. And then during my last campaign, uh, there were a lot of people, haters, that just don't care and they want to file complaints. Uh, they filed complaints uh, against me for you for wearing my uniform and doing that. And I, talking with the investigators, they said if you want to avoid the controversy, just don't do it. But the bottom line, because an elected official sheriff and my position that's different than everyone else's, my badge is a Chad Bianco Sheriff badge. It's not Riverside County Sheriff's badge. Uh, it, it's it's not the same, but do I regret it? Absolutely not. And the only thing that I will say is, if if they didn't like that one, wait till they see the next one. <laughs> When's that one coming? And uh, let me ask you this: uh, Your post has almost one and a half million views, so it absolutely did go viral. That means you're popular one way or the other. Does this mean that we can? see Chad Bianco running for California governor against Thurman in 2026? Uh, you know, of course that's coming up. And, it, and like I've said before, that is definitely something that I am looking into. I am very humbled that I have the support from San Diego to Oregon uh, from both sides of the aisle of people that want common sense, they want honesty, they want integrity, they want someone that they can trust in the governor's mansion. And there's no one running so far that offers that for Californians, for regular Californians. And so I'm humbled that people are looking to me for that. I'm still going to have to discuss it with Denise. We're, we're having these discussions. We're trying to figure out if that's what we want. Uh, but uh, things like this come up and it certainly it certainly sways me one way uh, that that it is the right thing to do because california is starving for something different and our options so far we don't have new options sounds like a yes that sounds yeah. sounds like a sounds yes like but a when yes. you're but when you're ready to make it official we would love to talk yeah. to you then as well maybe that'll be the next video that you just teased yeah. uh riverside county sheriff uh, chad bianco we appreciate you coming on and sharing your views really uh, great to see you thanks you know i love talking to both of you so if it happens it probably will be here oh okay. good good good, good. good. thank you <laughs> All right.